look at it that way. You know, I, I think you know a stay-at-home wife is is a very is a, is a very valuable job. You know, and, and it, it doesn't happen that often these days. I have some friends who. Um, uh, he works and she stays at home and raises the kid and, and she does a great job at it. And I think if you're going to be a stay at home wife, that, that, that is your job. You need to keep the house. You need to, there are responsibilities involved in it. I mean, not to be, not to be sexist, not to sound like, you know, like a chauvinist, but, and it, it goes the other way around. If you're a stay at home husband and your wife is out earning, you should be doing your job. And, and if she's not, I could, she's not doing her job. You know, this, this is just the straw that broke the camel's back. I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, not to be misogynist, but at the end of the day, if you're feeding her sausage and they're feeding you nothing, hold on. I, just then, got, a, I got a text know, from it's password. It's a one-sided thing. What are the passwords? I mean, this is an important update. I just turned on the show. What do y'all want to eat? Ah! <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like People a are password. are listening, folks, and they are bringing food. Hey, Steph- we want tacos, Steph- burritos. Stephanie, I have good news for you since you're listening. Caleb will not be divorcing you in a Nigerian you, court you, anytime you, soon. You used the wrong name. It's a good thing we're not using her as password anymore. Oh, exactly. out of my, out of my world. <laughs> so uh, didn't didn't we say just get like a bunch of tacos? Yeah, just what like like twenty five thirty. Wow. What All do right. you What do you guys? Round eating? is a shape. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what do you guys want? I mean, you said twenty five tacos. What do you guys want? Tacos. I'll take tacos. That covers me right there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, give me some tacos. Uh, ben would like kosher tacos. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, assortment from uh, from any any place along the way, really. Just we love you. We love you. Password. <laughs> any tacos? Anybody? And you know what? While we're talking, while we're about, talking password, about password, yeah, this is actually a good segue <laughs> because the great password crispy. <laughs> who is who is a well qualified PWC? PWC. What's, what's PWC? Password, Password crispy. crispy. Oh, okay. Well, the, the great PWC is, is uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, Miggy, but she is an <laughs> expert in the field of undergarments. Am I not correct? Oh, yeah. She is an expert. She said fatties, and obviously <laughs> I'm not in that realm because I actually am getting a six-pack for made personally in my own body. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, she she actually is a um, a... Purveyor of fine. Um, she is an undergarment consultant. There you go. There you go. Great. This is a, a, a really cool story. A woman in Germany was saved from a, a, a hunter stray shot by her underwire in her bra. Really? Yeah. She was uh, apparently there was a, a hunter in a field uh, a little ways away. And she, her and her husband were riding their bike, and uh, I don't. I, it doesn't say here, but he accidentally shot her, thinking maybe she was uh, game. I don't know, but the bullet actually hit her underwire, and it was just enough to de- deflect it and keep it from penetrating. She said it hurt like hell, but it saved her life. That's insane. That's badass. <laughs> the uh, the hunter is facing charges now, though. So now how did he? Oh, did he, it says he accidentally shot her, but I I, I don't know. Was, was she in an area where hunters were prevalent? Yeah, they unknowingly rolled into a boar hunt, but he was in a in a like a different field it was what it sounds like here is not like they were you know so he might have shot and it was an errant shot that happened to just hit her I, that's what i'm saying but but when you see something uh, break God. in the trees at a distance have you ever seen somebody walking through the woods in a distance in the trees you, you can't quite tell what it is because it breaks up with branches and leaves and they were riding across a field riding a field riding bicycles yeah, I don't. They could have yeah. looked, but you're, you, they could have been moving. I, I tell you, <laughs> look at that boar on a bicycle. Hey, yeah, but, but hold on, hold on. If you're looking for a certain, you know, an animal, whatever. A boar. What was what color clothes was she wearing? A boar. It's a boar. They okay. don't stand up and 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 walk six feet tall. I got that, but you, you got to look at the logistics of the whole situation. Yeah, but boars have four legs, not two wheels. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> boars. And, also and they're usually be, only about that high off the ground, no, you know, no, two or three yeah, feet. Yeah, but they can get big. You oh, see they, how absolutely. big those big boys, and they'll f you up. They yep. still, yeah, but they're not getting more than three feet high. She, you know, out on a bicycle, she's got to be six feet in the not, air. No question. Question for you. Was this a Nigerian man taking his wife on a bike ride? He shot her in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Was he? Tra- oh wait, 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 is that the translation? He's coming right for us. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. This story. I, uh, this other story here. I think we're going to have a lot to talk about here. As the Reverend Joey T. Hey, you got to sit in on this one, Joey. He finally decides to grace us with his presence for this one. Joey loves his new role as uh, as uh, part-time host. Part-time host. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Ben told me that I interrupted him during his promos all the time or his beginning, you know, the so I'm, I'm just going to wait 
till they're not. <laughs> you should wait till the story starts and then yeah. come in. If by like all it. the like time, it. if by all the time you meant the one time I said that to you last week, then well, you know how I exaggerate yeah. everything. Yeah. To if you listen to the show from last week, it was me, uh, me, and me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I was drunk though. I, yeah, we all heard the story. I was rowdy. You told us. You don't remember? Wait, what was, what was it? Uh, all right, let's continue on with the story, man. I'm, well, we okay. haven't even started it yet. Oh, okay. We haven't we haven't started the story yet, but you wouldn't know that because you were outside. Now uh, I got a question for holding you. Holding court. I was oh, reading also. your lips. I'm gl- well, I was waiting for you to get in here because I got a. This is stories we're waiting for you. Do you have suffer from foot orgasm syndrome? I don't know what that is. You want to well, find out? Has my foot? <laughs> <laughs> has, my foot <laughs> has my foot ever had an orgasm? Not that I know of. Uh, so, in 2013. This woman was identified who she hot? five or six. T- I doesn't say. Oh well, that's useless. five or six times a day would uh, experience spontaneous orgasms originating from her left foot. Yes, I believe Maggie that she was known as the big hoe with the big toe. Oh, big that toe. Is, that is not correct. No, no. So, I- if you had this problem, would you let the dog hump your leg? No, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. You remember that guy that called one time that had orgasms like every 30 seconds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Weirdo, man. <laughs> I missed that one. Oh, you did miss that one quite now, a Now, <laughs> is this left foot like hanging in like a, a pool of like warm jello or something that we don't know about? I mean, she literally just starts in her left no, foot. No, uh, apparently this lady had a serious infection a few years back and was hospitalized for several weeks. And uh, during her recovery, she sounds attractive. She, during her recovery, she had really weird sensations, uh, tingling, burning feelings in her foot. And then all of a sudden it started, you know, like she'd have these weird orgasms. All of a sudden that's, that emanated from that area. Was her foot in her pussy? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I don't know. I mean, was she a yoga? I, was she big into yoga? I don't, I don't understand how that could work. We, 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 pulled no punch, no. we pulled no punches around here. In her pussy, her foot was not. <laughs> Thank you, Yoda. Thank you. No. <laughs> as, as is the custom of the Creative Mission Show, the last segment does tend to go off the rails after wow. after many a beer from ESB was has that, been. That, that was a valid question. I mean, how does how, that's that's literally three feet from her foot <laughs> to her vagina? Something's got to start there, unless you can actually. I mean, I, there is a lot of nerves in the feet, right? You heard about all right, this. Well, stuff, it, like, it goes up to your spinal column, what right? So maybe nerves. there's a vagina yeah. nerve on the foot. What and, do they call that? Uh, reflexology. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So maybe. The fungus or the, the sickness that she had on her feet well, attacked would, her I, vagina area. I can't kind of go on if you would like. Okay, oh, I sorry. thought you meant was her foot in her vagina Well, I did mean that to begin with. What kind of porn are you watching? Would, would that condition... Shit, <laughs> i got to ask you guys, would that condition be considered <laughs> fap-footed? It could be, but it could be hey, it could be fo- foot and snooch disease. Oh, that, that's common. <laughs> that is very common. Yeah, you see that a lot. Uh, and eel and snooch too. That's a, that's a rough one. So, but they they they, they said they, they don't really know what's going on. They put her on all kinds of different drugs, uh, and they say it's all all also worth nothing that the nerves at the foot enter the spinal column and are very close where the genital area is. So it, it could be a huge connection between that and uh, more generally, that's what the doctors are thinking. So. She sounds like she's got a pretty good life. She gets orgasms from her feet very easily, and yeah, she but, gets loaded up on drugs. No, but why would you want that all day? Like, uh, Garen, having a big O is a good time and all, but why would you? No, stop touching my leg. <laughs> Caleb's touching my leg here, folks. Okay, listen. <laughs> Dear God. Does she have, does she have, does she have athlete's vagina? Oh, Does she needs some tough acting, tough acting, tough acting, snatch acting. Yeah, yeah, I just tough acting to Tough acting to to snatchkin. That's tough to say. Boom! I, 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 guarantee, I guarantee John Madden couldn't have got that one. He was like, "What? Well, what are you saying here? No, 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 tough acting to snatchkin." All, all, all you got here, you got you got the vagina, you got the you got the foot, and you got the nerve problem, and he goes up to the vagina, and then bam, you got tough acting snatchkin. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a fly, there's, a fly, oh, there's a flag on the play. A very, a very <laughs> <laughs> you know, Brett Favre. Brett Favre, Brett Favre. Favre. athlete of all time. You know. He had a tough time. Crazy to play. Oh, Frank Caliendo doing oh, good. So, uh, so let's see. He's a, she's creating a website for your own experiences. If you experience the same thing, you can go to this website. Uh, it doesn't say about the website, but I would like to go to that and check it out. I got to be honest, man. If she was hot, I'd like to date her because giving her orgasm would be easy. You know, you're definitely like. Are you a master dater? Well, you'd walk up, you'd be like, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> ah! You'd be like, boom, all right, baby, I'm good. Baby, will you rub uh, my feet? Hell yeah, I will. <laughs> it kind of, you know, in light, yes, of, in light of her situation, it kind of gives the term. Reebok pump, a whole new, <laughs> huh? yeah. a whole new uh, connotation, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it's better, it's better than that shoe Adidas accidentally put out, the Zyklon. The what? They put out a Zyklon shoe on accident one time. 
You remember Ned from uh, the other Fat Guys show calling up Adidas? Yeah, you guys accidentally put a, a shoe Jeez. on the market called Zyklon. You, you realize that's the, the gas they used to kill the Jews. Uh, <laughs> you remember Was that? it really? Yeah, they accidentally oh, put oh, on Zyklon shoe. Wow. Anyway. On PC, I guess. Oh, by, yeah. by the way, Adidas, which is a company that originated out of Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as Puma. Puma and Adidas, two, two brothers, brothers split yeah, out of Germany. Puma and yes. Adidas. One, one last story, and I actually want to skip the, uh, the artist story because I actually think this last one is more bizarre. This, uh, who knew <laughs> that there was an annual Internet Cat Video what Festival? Are you about? We did that story out of Switzerland. Now it's in the United States. But there's a fourth annual, right? Internet yeah. they had it in Cat Switzerland Video last Festival. Year. Really? Yeah, they you know it. why, Ben? Because this we did a story is, on it last year. Yeah, we they had it we promoted it, and then now they're doing a fourth. Thank us. Do we get any money out of that one? I don't no, think so. We gave them some love. <laughs> this one this one is in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and it's uh, at the uh, at a state of 13,000 people showed up. Yeah, dude. They to love watch their cats. cat videos. Yeah. Ren, Ren from Australia, who's called into our show before, uh, shows cats, and she loves cats, and she's very cat statistical. Yes. Oriented? She, she's very pussy friendly. She, she's catistic. No. <laughs> catistic. Yeah, she is very pussy friendly. Catatonic? Yeah. She's no, cat- I, think, I think that would be the word you're looking yeah, for. I guess you could call her a pussy lover. She loves her. <laughs> she has a cat named George who's a white cat, and they judge their buttholes to be very pink. If they're not pink, they give points off. Well, yeah, I, I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and, she said, and she said a lot of her the cats are sedated. If Ren, Ren, if, is, uh, if Ren is listening right now, which she could be, I would love her to call in to talk about the cats. We will, we will accept to talk about the cats, and we will not give you any flack about said cats. Look, when it comes to callers, Ren, you are the pick of the litter. <laughs> oh, not the runt. Not the runt. I have you. a runt. Her name is Jackie, and that is my cat. Thank you. Anyway. Okay. Are we did, talking about cats still or what? Did, I don't even know what we're We did do about. a story back a while ago, and this was uh, last year. Uh, and if I'm quite correct, the Cat Video Fest was in uh, Switzerland. Yes, it was. I remember. Yeah. No, it was like Dublin. No, no, no. It was S. It was Switzerland. I'm pretty was sure. it England? Yeah, or something. Stockholm, maybe? Sweden. Yeah. Hey, 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 guys, we're, we're at the end of the show, okay. and I have not seen Sancho, and I don't like ending a show without finding what Sancho learned. So can somebody fish him out? Is he... Oh, Jesus, hey, what the hell? Uh, Sancho. Hey, what's going on? Sancho. It's all good. I fired it back. It's good. Don't worry, everybody. Don't look around. Dude, <laughs> where, where, the hell are you, where have you been the whole show? I've been hanging out with Lars Stacy Cheese. No. <laughs> wow. well, why'd you come through the door right over top of yeah, me? Yeah, did you? Sorry. Uh, you've been oh. dr- you've been drinking a little bit, haven't you? Ah, uh, sorry, no. Yeah, you, all right. Let's look. It's all right. We've all been drinking, man. Now, now, we Daisy ha- Cheese, give me some paracetamol. <laughs> some what? Paracetamol. <laughs> What's that? Well, you're I'm, slurring. It's, it's not working me out very good. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I don't understand what it is. It's like it. aspirin, but it's the English aspirin. English aspirin. Huh? What were you doing? We heard that you were leaning in some girl's car earlier. Yeah, so what was she has some weed. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 wait, yeah. All right, so you were smoking. All right, well, and smoking weed. Well, it's a good thing we had Caleb to, to produce the show since you were apparently slacking. Oh, it's cool, man. Okay. Oh, by the <laughs> way, that's cool. <laughs> Don't so, worry about it, guys. It's Sancho, cool. I've got good news for you. Uh, Caleb. Did you say how much money in your car insurance? <laughs> Well, no, no, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to offer uh, you Geico, but I will um, offer shit. you tacos because password. Hold on, my brother's here. Ba- Ka- Caleb's wife is bringing hey, tacos. Banjo, come here. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we are smoking. We are water. <laughs> oh no, I don't smoke marijuana. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. He's driving. I drink cold cerveza. Ah, <laughs> this guy's so fast. He's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll see you in a minute. All right. So, oh. Ocho, so did you uh, did you listen to the show at all or no? Oh, no. Did well, you learn? I guess it's hard to say he learned something. Well, he might have learned something. What, what, well, what did, did you, you learn, learn outside I the show? I learned the difference between Anticara and Sariva, marijuana. Okay. You know what a dab is? What's a, what, what? A dab. A dab? A dab. A dab. A little yeah. dab will do you? Yeah, it's like uh, the concentrated marijuana. No, I don't know about this. It's like uh, it's like hash, but it's not. Okay, so you had some dab tonight? Yeah. 
Are you a proponent of dab? You now? gave it to me. No, no. <laughs> no. Did you, did you yes, hear? You did. No, you were in that car. Who's ever? You, you were came l- over to the car. I did not come yes, over to the car. Yes, you did. All right, maybe a little bit. <laughs> For like a couple minutes. <laughs> did, <laughs> did, <laughs> as I'm saying, but you weren't supposed to smoke that much, man. Dad. Did you listen yeah. to any of the show? Nice. The girls over there showing me their boobies. 